Coming up today, we have an update on Autel nano stock, a whistle shaped like a cyber truck, F-16 fighter jets becoming drones, and news of NASA smashing craft into asteroids to change their course. Armageddon and Bruce Willis, eat your heart out. Hi there everyone, my name is Emily and a big warm welcome to Geeksvana. Now today we are going to take a look at some of the stories that are making headlines in the drone and tech world recently. If you are new here, Geeksvana offers you content focused on the world of drone and tech, including the latest news, leaks and live show debates. If you are new here, please subscribe for more content and to catch the next episode of this news update. Now, first up, and we have a new update on the Autel stock story, which Sean has been covering recently on the channel. Following our most recent update, where we shared information that the nano and light range of drones could be with us no sooner than February 2022, information passed by official Autel dealers, we were contacted by more dealers after the story released. Now, most confirmed the information they held stated that the drones should be delivered to pre-ordered customers before Christmas. This would be amazing news, of course, although a more recent update from one of the European dealers in the public comments on the Geeksvana channel noted that Autel had contacted them to confirm a further delay in stock reaching them now potentially late December, so the dates do seem to be slipping again. The dealer Gadget Iberia also confirmed that the price of the Autel light range had increased by 100 euros. Now we will keep a close eye on this story. Sean has a Nano Plus on pre-order and we are excited to get our hands on one eventually. Up next, and Elon Musk has been offering some quirky products again, this time announcing to the world a whistle shaped like, well, a Tesla Cybertruck. In an apparent joke about whistleblowers, he promoted the latest piece of Tesla branded merchandise. Mr. Musk's tweet to his 65.1 million followers said, blow the whistle on Tesla with a link to a $60, about £38, cyber whistle. It is currently marked as out of stock on Tesla's website. In the short thread, Mr. Musk also tweeted, don't waste your money on that silly apple cloth buy our whistle instead, in a reference to the iPhone maker's $19 microfiber polishing cloth that went on sale last month. Inspired by Cybertruck, the limited edition Cyber Whistle is a premium collectible made from medical grade stainless steel with a polished finish. The whistle includes an integrated attachment feature for added versatility. The website description said the Cyber Whistle is shaped like the Cybertruck, the electric pickup truck that Mr. Musk announced two years ago. The new vehicle was supposed to go into production late this year, but the company has since moved that date to next year. So keep an eye out on Geeksvana for an unboxing of a Cyber Whistle soon. Yes, a whistle being unboxed. You heard it correctly. Seriously. Next up, we have news of fighter jets being converted into drones. Now, this story from UK publication The Sun seems to suggest that the US Air Force is currently looking at converted retired F-16 fighter jets into target drones. The story reads, Boeing is working on a new $49.7 million deal with the US Air Force to convert retired F-16 fighter jets into unmanned target drones after a stark warning the US is falling behind China and Russia in the arms race. The contract was awarded to the Boeing Defense, Space and Security segment in St. Louis to work on the conversion of 15 F-16 fighters into unmanned QF-16 full-scale aerial targets, according to reports. The Air Force Life Cycle Management Center at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida has placed the order with the aviation giant for the retired fighter jets to replace the current fleet of QF-4 target drones. 
It was announced by the Department of Defence on November the 23rd and is an extension of the previous contract awarded to Boeing. For decades, the Air Force has converted retired fighter jets into drones to give the machinery a second life. Now, this all first began in the 1960s when 24 Lockhead F-104 Star fighter jets were converted into target drones. Military Aerospace reports the F-100, F-102, F-106 and F-4 have all also become target drones. Target drones are used to test missiles and electronic warfare systems, meaning that after conversion, some are destroyed during weapon tests. However, many are fitted with an onboard sensor to calculate a missile detonation without the jet itself being hit or killed. Next, and Clio Robotics have released details of their $9,000 specialist drones with a difference. Now, the company tells us the Drona X1 is the world's first bi rotor ducted drone powered by our patented thrust vectoring technology. With no exposed propellers and a compact design that can fit in the palm of your hand, the Drona can safely fly where no other drone has flown before. Clio Robotics state of the drone, the Drona X1 comes equipped with some of the best autonomous capabilities in the industry, powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon and a suite of cutting edge sensors including 3D LiDAR. We've made sure that you won't have to sacrifice powerful intelligence for size and safety. Never worry about piloting in tight spaces again. The Drona X1 has no exposed propellers, which means it's safe to touch, collision tolerant, and can operate safely around sensitive equipment. Equipped with LED headlights and LiDAR, the Dronut can navigate in low light or no light. It should be interesting to see how the Drona is deployed by industry. So hold on to your seatbelt, Bruce Willis, because NASA are to smash into an asteroid on purpose. DART is a planetary defense driven test of technologies for preventing an impact of Earth by a hazardous asteroid. DART will be the first demonstration of the kinetic impactor technique to change the motion of an asteroid in space. DART is a spacecraft designed to impact an asteroid as a test of technology. DART's target asteroid is not a threat to Earth. This asteroid system is a perfect testing ground to see if intentionally crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid is an effective way to change its course should an Earth-threatening asteroid be discovered in the future. While no known asteroid larger than 140 metres in size has a significant chance to hit Earth for the next 100 years, only about 40% of those asteroids have been found as of October 2021. The DART spacecraft will achieve the kinetic impact deflection by deliberately crashing itself into the moonlet at a speed of approximately 6.6 kilometres per second with the aid of an onboard camera named Draco and a sophisticated autonomous navigation software. The collision will change the speed of the moonlet in its orbit around the main body by a fraction of 1%, but this will change the orbital period of the moonlet by several minutes, enough to be observed and measured using telescopes on Earth. The spacecraft will intercept the Didymus system between September the 26th and October the 1st, 2022. And Geeksvana will be bringing you all the updates as we get them. Now, this is a good point to remind you all that you can get access to our new Geeksvana in space shows via the playlist on the channel homepage. And we will also be bringing you more live launch events from SpaceX and NASA with our own space Geeks team, Sean, Mike and Russ. So keep an eye out on Geeks Varna and do hit the subscribe button in order to get notified. The future is a little close with the new Jetson One. One company going viral with their new release is Jetson Aero with their new Jetson One personal aircraft. Now this has been lighting up the internet recently. Jetson tells us 
Jetson is a Swedish company with a mission to change the way we travel. We aim to make the skies available for everyone with our safe, personal electric aerial vehicle. One prototype proof of concept was finished in the spring of 2018, and until now we have been very busy working on a consumer-friendly version. That project resulted in Jetson 1, a commercially available personal electric aerial vehicle that you can own and fly. There is a link in the description to place your order. Although, as Sean hasn't even built his first FPV quad, I hope he isn't about to try and build one of these. Don't even think about it, Sean. In some welcome news, DJI seem to have solved issues with their Fly app through an update fixing the Samsung black screen. Recently, Geeksvarna chatted on Twitter with viewers and DJI support to raise the issue of the DJI Fly app, which controls most of the more recent drone releases from DJI. It wasn't running correctly on Samsung devices. Some had been experiencing these issues for months, whilst others only had the issues more recently. Well, for us here at Geeksvarna, Sean would experience like a loss of live feed and black screen once the drone took off, whilst using a Samsung S20 Ultra. DJI support informed us that they were working on a fix and did ask for patience. Well, it seems that the latest update released for Android users, which Samsung devices run, has solved the issue and viewers are reporting their Samsung devices are running normally again when using the DJI Fly app. Do let us know in the comments if your Samsung device is or isn't working. Next, Amreno reveal a classic take on air mobility through working with partners to create an EV toll in the shape of their iconic 4L car. To assist with the 4L transformation, Renault worked with design firm the Arsenal. It retained the original forms of the car while rebuilding it entirely from carbon fibre and factoring in new aerodynamic criteria like thrust and lift to those usually applied to a car chassis. Issuing a hybrid approach for pure aerial operation, the Air 4 EV Toll has no wheels and is instead driven by four dual blade propellers beneath the body. So that's it guys for this episode of Drone and Tech News from Geeks Varna. Please join me again next week for the next one and do remember to subscribe if you are new here and if you're still watching, smash the like button. I'll see you all soon. Goodbye for now.